start. I wonder what it is with fuel injected bikes that don't want to start. All right, so uh, we're back um, riding some trail here. This is a deplorable moto. He used to ride a two stroke RM250 and uh, he sold it and got an RMC450. And uh, I love giving him crap about going back to four strokes, you know. But interestingly enough, it's a 2010, which is a fuel injected, it's got a programmer and an exhaust. And uh, it's a very fast bike. Probably just about dead even with this bike. You know, 50, 55 horsepower. Um, it's a little bit heavier. He was saying that, uh, you know, he was having a little bit of problems with, uh, you know, turning. It's hard to get used to, or not hard to get used to, but different to getting used to than his, uh, his two-stroke. Definitely weighs more. Um, anyways, today, we're just out riding around. I don't really have a topic for this video. Um, so I'm just going to show you highlights for today. Oh, wow. This is definitely up. Actually, it's not as up as I thought it would be. I say let's do it. Actually, all that water cleaned out this. This was never like this. That's cool. Yeah. Very slick. I'll let him do the trailblaze and I'm just gonna chill. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> We're good. We are good. Yeah, wrong gear. Sorry about that, guys. That 450 power eel. Oh my gosh, it's slick. That's literally like ice. Ow, that hurt. Probably why I should be wearing my jersey right now. When I left the house, I was just like, eh, load up and go. Oh my. That's a ditch. Did I go the right way? Um, I'm thinking no. This is all sinky peanut butter mud. Oh no. Look at that spider there. This is why you wear these on the inside. Yes, I know. I had to put on my uh, knee pad, it fell off. I think don't like to start. Runs good. Oh, this is a nice trail. Even I like I like how rough the rain made everything. More of a challenge. I like that. It's a lot of roots and divots and a lot of surprises. Pretty cool. gets up. Very nice, very nice.
If you go up this way, right here, it's clean. Yeah, everything is looking different. I used to know these trails very well, fly through here like it was nothing, but since that rain and stuff, this whole thing is completely tore up, completely different. It's like the paths that you think lead to somewhere aren't really the paths that you think. <laughs> it's kind of cool exploring though. It's been a while since I did some bushwhacking. Oh, nice. That looks deep. <laughs> Are you gonna be all right? Oh shit. Um, that's gonna throw you sideways. You pretty much have to wheelie over it. Yeah. With it being wet like this, yeah. You want me to get out your way? Ew. It's all nasty. Hmm. Which way am I gonna go? There we go. Little baby ones. Got her around. Oops. Need help? Uh, Alright, hold on. Uh, yeah, I didn't even see that shit. Yeah, this one right here. Yeah. Um, okay, so you want to go this way here? I was thinking I could probably get over it. Welcome. Yeah, that's a hole. Damn it. Ah. Every freaking time with these holes. Mud bogging, I suppose. Screw them with my peripherals. I got this dot. My eye or my right eye, I can't see out of my right eye right now. Oh my, look at that. I'm just gonna go straight across, see how fun with that. Hey, that's muddy. Yeah, it is. Oh shit. Hmm, two tracks. <laughs> Same thing I did. I think mine's worse because that's a hell of a hole. Yeah, it's a pretty big hole. Probably back it up and go around there. Okay. Uh, all right, you ready? Uh 
Cool. Hey, right here, it's not very sharp, but it's sinky. So if you hit like uh, right here, it should be good. Ah, shit. Ah, he's got it. Cool. Thank <laughs> you.